uh, for a walk-in box call. The walk-in has been icing up. So we're gonna install a defrost timer on this walk-in box. Um, it's got a drop top unit. And we'll get over there and I'll show you. So we're gonna set it up so it'll periodically defrost in the night. So let's get over there and I'll, I'll let you guys take a look at it. Here's the box. Uh, this unit's on top of the box, drop top unit. I'm gonna get up over there, I'll show you guys. There's the time clock we're gonna to use today. And uh, let's get over there and I'll show you. All right, so here's our unit up here. See, these are our two power wires. That's how they do them up here. They consider the, the case over this unit as the conduit. That's why they run the wires like this from the factory. So, 208 volts. So our line's coming in, so I'm assuming there's a contactor inside this box here. Let's hope. So we'll get that box opened up and we'll take a look. All right, I'll show you what I got going on here. So this unit inside here is the evaporator coil. It runs off a mechanical thermostat that's just banging on and off this compressor. So I'm gonna add this time clock I want the load for the compressor to go through contactor, so I'm going to put in two pole 208 volt coil contactor inside here. I'm going to have the thermostat switch leg go through. So power is going to go up, go through the thermostat, back out of the thermostat. I'm going to have it go through the contacts of the time clock and to one half of the coil on the contactor so when the thermostat gets satisfied it opens it'll drop out the contactor and when the time clock goes into defrost it'll take out the contactor Boop. so uh i'll dig into that and i'll show you a little bit more what we got going on it'll it's going to be real simple when you see how we're going to do this now i want to put the time clock down here so i can work on it in the future Instead of just button it up to the can right there, I uh, I went and made up a little piece of flex, little piece of liquid type. So I'm gonna go uh, L1, L2 to power the time clock, and then I'm gonna use uh, this black and red as the switch, like uh, common and normally closed out of the time clock to the contactor. So let me get it hooked up and I'll show you. Okay, so I did some pre-wiring down here before I mount this up there. I got my flex. So I'm just gonna go L1, L2 straight in. No jumper wire over to common because the thermostat leg I'm gonna tie this to, it already comes off the hot through the thermostat. And I'm gonna grab this to the common on here. And then out of the normally closed, to the coil on the contactor. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Then we got our ground because we're running a non-metallic flex. Uh, and then we'll get the time clock mounted up over here and then into the, the box area with all the wire connections. Okay, so the J box doesn't have a knockout in it. So I got my drill here with the Unibit. I'm going to make a half inch hole in there. Might be able to film it while we're drilling. Let's see. There's nothing on the flip side there, so I'm clear for takeoff. Yeah, I might make it right, like right here. coming in and they used a white and a black and then went to red and black so from the terminal block we got L1 L2 coming up to the contactor L1 L2 we take a jumper from L2 to half of the coil 
L1 goes up through the thermostat, it's just a mechanical thermostat, through the thermostat, into the time clock, the defrost timer, common, out of the normally closed, back, and then to the other half of the coil on the contactor. So we're running all the load for the compressor now through this contactor. Before they were just using the thermostat, the contacts on the thermostat to carry the full load. If we go and cycle our time clock in the defrost, the unit will shut down. I got the light coming on now for defrost, the green LED. Uh, we're going to have a defrost from midnight till 2 in the morning. And then it will be back into the freeze mode. Got daylight savings coming up. Let's put it at around 3 o'clock p.m. And so now we got a defrost timer on this walk-in box. It was having ice up because door not being kept closed in and out too much. Uh, you can see all the water in the condensate pan is having some mega issues here, so we're just going to help it out along. And. Uh, you can see where it sits up here in the attic. It's not ideal. They do these units to save on money. So now, that's where we're at. And we'll let this thing run. And so now that's how we got our defrost timer. We got done with the time clock and I got noticing, whoa, that looks kind of oily on top here. I'm not looking over here and I got my phone wall on my finger. Are you kidding me? Multiple offender? Alright, let's go get the soap bubbles to find out. set point that's sweet so it just turned off on thermostat we had it up and running yeah we're still in freeze mode the light will come on for defrost is the way I have it set up and that hit set point on thermostat so that's nice very good multiple offender repaired If I showed that, but I did put a strap on there too on my piece of liquid tight. So I got a little clamp on there, tidy that up a little bit too. And I put that down there just to make it easier to work on. So we got the time clock, the contactor. Um, I'm going to put that shroud back on here. It goes like this. I had taken it off there just to make it a little easier to work on. Get that screwed back on there like that. Makes me a little fan shroud. Okay, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll check you out on the next one.